check in with Jason. You've been tracking Milton's every move. Um, what's the latest? Well, it's weakening over land, but this thing is ferocious going up I-4 between Tampa and Orlando. If you know somebody who has decided to ride this thing out at Disney or Universal, they are in for a rough few hours as that northern eye wall heads right up toward the southern part of Orange County. This is the radar from Tampa, and fortunately, we still have it. You can see the eye right there between uh, Bloomingdale and Fort Meade just south of Lakeland. So uh, from Lakeland over to Winter Haven, to Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Citrus Ridge, up into the city of Orlando. Hurricane force winds are likely over the next uh, two to three hours, and then it will start to slow down through the early part of tomorrow morning. Here's the future cast, and you can see the uh, 45 mile per hour window right there in Orlando that could easily jump to about 65 to 80 miles per hour at a moment's notice. But that elongated eye uh, based on this computer guidance doesn't really exist that way. It's still very much uh, in that area there that's uh, closer to Winter Haven. This will track to the northeast and then on the back side we get what's called a stinger jet. Uh, it's uh, as the drier air that's trying to filter into this thing from the northwest kind of merges with the tropical wind and it will just be a howler through about two to three o'clock in the morning around Orlando. Finally, about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, the wind will settle down, but we could still have some tropical storm level gusts across central Florida, even through tomorrow afternoon as that thing moves away. So Milton is headed to the Atlantic. We've got cool nights and warm days into the weekend around here, and then a big time October cold blast coming next week. Watch this. That high starts out over northern Canada, so this is some true Arctic air that makes its first push south for the season. By Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, temperatures should be some 20 degrees below normal, especially at night. So as the front passes Monday, it's still warm and dry Monday afternoon, but then by Tuesday morning, you're really going to start to feel it. With a north breeze, we might even be talking about wind chill around here by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. The weekend is looking pretty good. There is zero rain in the forecast. High school football on Friday. Weather looks phenomenal. Our game of the week, Corner and Hayden. Jacket weather down in the 50s by the end of that one with a light breeze. College football this weekend, not too shabby. UAB and Alabama both playing under the sunshine with comfortable temps and low humidity. And then you look out there toward the end of the seven day, we're talking highs in the 60s and lows down in the 40s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Should be a change uh, next week. It's game tonight though. Jacksonville State, they were home. They need the win. Three losses in a row. Can they get a